The truth is that Egypt in the Middle Ages was hit by the so-called Black Death, which is the great plague that struck the world and caused the annihilation of entire villages and countries in the world, and when he arrived in the era of Sultan Hassan, he killed 40% of the population of Egypt, and since then the plague continued and coming to Egypt is painful, terrifying and deadly for many people, especially in northern Egypt and not upper Egypt. With the beginning of the European Renaissance, scientists began to understand that the first carrier of plague infection was mice, and when this information was circulated, the most important question for the health authorities in the era of Muhammad Ali began, how do we kill mice, and the solution was to bring another animal to chase after it and kill it. Mastila Nevelis was chosen to play this role especially as it is a mammal that feeds primarily on meat. It is a fierce, fast and agile hunter, and most importantly, it is the most important biological enemy of mice and hunts them easily. It also feeds on birds, rabbits and other small animals from its ferocity. Mastila Nevelis was living in some deserts of Sinai, so Muhammad Ali made a decision to bring large quantities and plant them in the Egyptian environment, especially the Egyptian Delta, Cairo, and Alexandria. In 1844, after taking the lives of millions of Egyptians, the historical role of Mastila Nevelis may explain the reasons why, in the imagination of many Egyptians, it is associated with happiness and optimism despite its strange shape. Among the customs remaining in the countryside until now is the killing of Mastila Nevelis and placing it in the foundations of homes and on their thresholds for blessings. Or in some popular areas, Mastila Nevelis is embalmed and hung at the entrances of homes, and the reason is to keep the evil and envious eye away from the house.